Hi, this is Alex Joe, and I'm here to talk today about two pieces of um, psychological warfare appearing in the Financial Times recently. The Financial Times of London. The Financial Times. Here, here's my hockey stick. Okay, here's my hockey stick. Instead of a hockey stick graph showing global warming, my hockey stick shows points. This my hockey stick is my pointer. Okay, so London, London thinks it wants to talk to uh, the world with two psychological operations, and they even say they're psychological operations. Let's look at this. One, America must manage its decline in the Financial Times, and that's written by Gideon Rockman. Gideon Rockman. The other one, here we go. French warning to Euro summit. All right, so two pieces of psychological warfare here against the world. Um, and one of them even announces that it's psychological warfare. Um, Rockman ends his piece on the decline of America. He ends his piece by saying, and he means the United States of America. He doesn't mean North America or South America. Two real continents, by the way. Europe. Where Again, where does Europe get off calling itself a continent? Let's look at the seven continents. North America, South America, Antarctica, Africa, Asia, Australia, again, that too, arguably, and Europe. Where's Europe? I, I see this big, huge, humongous landmass up here. I guess this little tiny portion here is called Europe? I don't know. Europe. What's it got here? Where's my hockey stick? Spain. Uh... I don't know, Spain, I guess, is part of Europe. There's France and Germany. You know, is Europe just the Franco-Germanic Empire? Is that what Europe is? All right, anyway, here's Rockman. For the fact is that management of decline is as much to do, as much to do with psychology as to do with politics and economics. That's exactly right. It's a big freaking psyop. Look at that. The continent of North America is going to be dictated by the freaking, you know, pseudo-continent of Europe? Nah, it's not going to happen. The United States, you know, Europe is getting sick of the United States. Twice Europe tried to uh, hash out its own problems and the United States interjected itself. And uh, Europe wasn't too happy with that. Europe wasn't too happy. I'm sure Europe would love to salt the fields of the United States just as it once Italy once salted the fields of Carthage. But I don't think that's going to happen. So what do they do? They act as the mahout to the United States, leading it around like an elephant on a chain. Um, Europe is the mahout of the United States, but someday that elephant may stomp on its little mahout of England. Um, anyway, so there you go. A Rachman, America must manage its own decline, but that decline is perhaps just a psyop itself. America is not necessarily in decline. Perhaps America is being pushed off a cliff. Now the other funny thing about French warning to Euro summit, the funny thing there, the funniest thing is, uh, raising the sense of urgency, the French president added, allowing the destruction of the euro is to take the risk of the destruction of Europe. Those who destroy Europe and the euro will bear responsibility for resurgence of conflict and division on our continent. Are what? You don't have a freaking continent. What do you got? You got Spain, Portugal, France, Germany, Italy, United Kingdom, Ireland, Poland, Ukraine, I guess you're saying is Europe. Is I guess Russia's Europe. I don't know. What, what's Europe? What's Europe? Where does Europe end and Asia start? 
is uh, what's Saudi Arabia? Is that part of Africa? What continent is that? Is Saudi Arabia its own continent? Heck, if Australia is, maybe Saudi Arabia is. Is Madagascar its own continent? Who knows? What makes a continent? Turkey. How can Turkey be part of Europe? Is Turkey part of Africa? Where does Africa end? Is Saudi Arabia Europe? What the heck is Europe? Europe doesn't exist. Europe is a figment of its own imagination. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Europe is a figment of its own imagination. You got this huge landmass called Eurasia. Eurasia. How they decide what they want to do politically is up to them, but it's Eurasia. How could one little spot on the globe cause so much trouble? It's beyond me. The differing sentiments in Paris and Berlin appeared to mirror continuing splits between the Eurozone's two largest members over a substance of a weekend deal. Okay, is it Europe or is it simply the Franco-Germanic Union or the Anglo-Franco-Germanic Union? The Inger Frankic Empire. One more thing from Rockman. In 1945, the British task was made much easier by the afterglow of victory in the Second World War. Britain's adjustment was also helped by the fact that the new global hegemon was the U.S., a country tied to Britain by language, blood, and shared political ideas. It will be tougher for America to cede power to China, which will never happen anyway. America will not cede power to China. But listen, can't you say the whole thing about Europe? A country tied to Britain by language, blood, and shared political ideas? Who's more tied by language than Britain and France? Language itself is a French word. Long tongue language. Language tongue. Language. What do you say about the tongue? The language you were raised on is your mother tongue. Long is the French word for tongue. We all speak French. English is modified French. English is modified French. United States. The United States is Europe without the Alps. Our Alps are over in the uh, Colorado. Our Alps are our Rockies. Europe moved to the United States of America and Canada. North America and South America are Europe. There's Europe right there. There's Spain and Portugal. There's France. There's England. Germany's in there too. Pennsylvania is Germany. There you go. There's Europe. The New World was conquered by the Europeans. They got there first. Alright. There's Europe.